Hi, my name is Tad Halcom, and today I'll be demonstrating how to properly use the Amarex Halotron 1 Wield Unit Extinguisher. This specific extinguisher is our model B674. It utilizes Halotron 1 and can carry 150 pounds of agent. Please note, any persons expected to use this extinguisher shall be trained in initiating its operation and in the proper firefighting techniques. Familiarize all personnel with this information before an emergency occurs. First, move the extinguisher to within approximately 50 feet of the fire site. Once within 50 feet of the fire, set the extinguisher upright. Caution, this extinguisher must be operated in an upright position. If equipped with an optional tow loop and towed to the scene by a vehicle, please remove the extinguisher from the tow hitch and operate it in the vertical position. First, twist the pull pin to break the tamper seal. Then open the cylinder discharge valve by rotating and pulling the handle valve lever towards the hose. This will pressurize the hose with chemical. Remove the nozzle with the lever in the closed position from the mount and extend the hose from the storage rack. Now open the nozzle valve slowly to load the hose with chemical. Be prepared for possible recoil and discharge of agent. Stand back 30 feet or 10 meters from the fire and aim the nozzle at the base of the flames nearest to you. Once the extinguisher is in use, sweep side to side across the base of the fire past both edges. Progressively follow up into the fire until it is extinguished. Work to extinguish the fire away from you, but be alert for potential flashbacks. Move closer as the fire is extinguished, but not too close because you may scatter or splash the burning materials. The discharge time for this specific extinguisher is about 52 seconds, and the effective range of this extinguisher is 30 to 40 feet. When the fire is out, push the hose discharge lever forward away from you to the closed position. Stand by and watch for possible reignition. Evacuate and ventilate the area immediately after extinguishing the fire. The fumes and smoke from any fire may be hazardous and can be deadly. Caution. Before performing the shutdown procedure, it must be determined and clear that the fire is completely extinguished and there is no danger of a flashback. Once the fire is completely extinguished and you want to shut down the extinguisher, you'll need to close the nozzle valve and rotate the cylinder discharge valve lever to the close position as well. Remove the wheeled unit to a safe location. Once the extinguisher is in a safe location, unrack the hose, ensuring there are no kinks. Tip the extinguisher over until it rests on both wheels and carriage handle. Then open the cylinder discharge valve as well as the hose valve to slowly clear the hose of any remaining pressure and chemical. Please be prepared for some possible chemical discharge and hose recoil. When all pressure has been evacuated from the extinguisher, return the hose discharge lever to the closed position. Stand the unit upright after complete depressurization. And rotate the cylinder discharge valve lever to the closed position as well. Lastly, coil the extinguisher hose onto the storage rack and place the nozzle in its mount so it can be transported to its recharge location. Thank you for watching our video on how to use the Amarex Hedatron 1 Wheeled Unit Extinguisher. You can find more information regarding this extinguisher at amarex-fire.com forward slash products.